What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Black, your internet relationship and breakup coach. Today's topic, this is the real reason you are struggling to get your ex back and nothing ever seems to work. Now, I wanna start this video with a quick story about my childhood. And again, if you have been on this channel for a while, I posted another video, I'm gonna link that below. And I talked about growing up in Nigeria and a little bit of my experience with my father. And one of the things about growing up was that, you know, I had a lot of fun, you know. We didn't always have the most, we didn't have the fanciest of anything, but, you know, I had four siblings, we would run around, play, and just, it was amazing. You know, anytime I think back to those days, you know, those memories and, uh, you know, playing out in the sun, running through the parks and all of those things, a truly amazing time. But one of the things about my childhood that I haven't talked about on this channel is that I used to stutter. I had a really, really bad stutter. And even though I was a playful kid, I used to have a lot of fun. Um, it was always difficult speaking to new people. I would get really nervous. I would tense up and I could never get my words out. And this followed me for many, many years. And I would improve along the way and start to get better once I started to understand the way stuttering works. And if anyone stutters, go ahead and comment down in the comment section below. Now, listening to me talk, that might surprise you. You might be like, well, that's, that's interesting. But what I noticed about stuttering was that before I said a sentence or before I said a word, it's almost like my mind would quickly process it and figure out, is this word or is this sentence going to come out smoothly? And if it wasn't, I would be able to substitute the word I was going to say and say something different that essentially means the same thing. And that's how I started to fight against my stuttering. And you know, one of the comments that I get today a lot of times in the videos is that, oh, you speak so slowly. So that's one of the reasons why. That's one of the reasons why is because that's how I learned how to speak and communicate effectively was just by slowing down. I noticed that I would stutter a lot more when I'm trying to rush through my sentences. Now, why do I say this? The reason I'm bringing this up is that <clears throat> You know, a lot of times, you know, how you show up into relationships and how you deal with people has a lot to do with the impression that you have of yourself in your mind. You know, stuttering, even though I basically mastered communicating better into my teenage years, it followed me for many years. Anytime I was asked to speak at work, even though I had the qualifications, even though I had the degrees, I always thought there was someone else that could do a better job than me. You know, I always had that imposter syndrome of feeling like I'm just not good enough, right? Because as soon as I start to form my words or as soon as I want to say something, I knew I was going to crash and burn. And a lot of that even affected me when I first started posting about relationships and breakups was that I would get a lot of comments, oh, you speak so slowly. But it's interesting, one of the things that I was very conscious about one of the things that I taught, thought held me back. A lot of people say today, oh my God, your voice is so calm. Your voice makes me feel better. So it's amazing how you can literally have a 360 in your life if you only change your perspective. I want you to think about your ex. I want you to think about your relationship with them for a second and understand that the bottom line of relationships is that Relationships are an exchange of value. Each person is going to give and each person is expecting, at least on a subconscious level, to get something in return. And so if you know right now, if you think about your ex, you can already think about the way they make you feel and you're dreaming about them. You can't stop thinking about those amazing times that you had together. All right. So in your mind, you already have them on a pedestal and you think that they are amazing. If deep down, for whatever reason, you do not feel like you're good enough, if deep down you do not know that you are already a catch and your ex 
is lucky to have you. No matter how many tactics you work, watch, no matter how many no contact videos you watch, no matter how many strategies you get, your subconscious mind is always gonna be driving that wheel, okay? And because you're likely a good person and because you have a good heart, you will never feel good about taking from your ex without giving them something in return. Meaning, if you truly do not feel that you're good enough from your ex, for your ex, you're going to do things along the way to self-sabotage because you have them on a pedestal. Not only do they think they're up here, you also think that they're up here and you put yourself down here. Even if you get them back, you're gonna say the wrong things, you're gonna text the wrong things because you're afraid. You're so afraid to lose them. And you have to get rid of that mindset. Think about it for a second. Your ex chose you for a reason. There was some point in the past where your ex looked at you and said, this is my dream person. I am so in love with him or I'm so in love with her. They were obsessed with you or really interested in building a life with you at some point. Now, of course, that perspective has changed, but you still have to believe and you still have to carry yourself like they were lucky to have you. And that is the only way you will ever get them back. That is the only way. And I had to make this video because I get so many comments from people and as soon as I read the comments, I can already see what your mindset is. And what's interesting is that a lot of times people will behave consistently with who they believe themselves to be as opposed to who they are right now. So whatever it is that you went through, whatever it is that caused the breakup, whatever you've experienced in your childhood, a lot of times you don't even see yourself the same way the world sees you. If you've been working on yourself slowly and steadily, you've been improving your fitness, you've been working on your career, you've been getting better, the perception that you have of yourself from five years ago, from 10 years ago, you know, from when people mistreated you or talked down to you, you are not the same person. You are better and people are lucky to have you in their life. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better, but it is the truth. And when you interact with your ex, when you interact with other people, you have to hold yourself to a high standard. You have to believe, well, I, I deserve to be treated with respect. I deserve to be treated with love. So if there's a text conversation going on with your ex, which you shouldn't be giving them all of this energy and attention if they aren't pursuing you, remember, they dumped you and you're a person of value. All right, and so let's say your ex texts you and you text them back and then they don't respond. You never freak out, you never go chasing them. You never get mad and say, you know, why aren't you texting me back? You act like you already know they'll be back around because you're the best option that there is. That has to be your mindset, all right? If I told you right now, and I wanna impress upon you the way your mind works. If I tell you, look around the room right now, close your eyes, all right, for one second, do this exercise with me, I want you to close your eyes. For one second, close your eyes. And I tell you, open up your eyes right now and find the color green. Find the color green, look around you. Now, I'm sure you're able to easily identify something in the room that's the color green, all right? And there might be other objects in the room, but right now you're not noticing those things. You're only finding the, co the, the color green. This is the same way that your mind works. And if for any reason, any reason at all, you believe, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, my ex is not gonna talk to me. They're gonna block me. They're talking to other people. When you interact with them, your mind is always going to be looking for proof. Proof that you're not good enough. Proof that you know your ex is gonna find someone better. And as soon as you see that first thing, let's say they don't text you back for six hours, you freak out because your mind has latched on to something that just happen. It is not your identity. It is not who you are. It is not the reality of what's going to happen. All right. So put those images in the past. It's the same thing I had to do. I'm no longer the guy or the kid that used to stutter at every word. That's just not me anymore. And I had to let go of that identity. Okay. I'm someone who can sit down and have a conversation with someone 
And right now, this is what I do for work. I make videos. I communicate with people. The last thing I would have thought I'd be doing when I was three years old or, you know, five, six years old, running around with my brothers and sisters in the streets of Nigeria, the last thing I thought I'd be doing is making YouTube videos. All right. But it's very interesting how just like that your reality can change. As long as you're continuously improving, as long as you're continuously getting better. And a lot of times your ex is not even putting in the effort to improve like you are. So in some certain ways, you're outgrowing them possibly. You need to be evaluating them and asking, are they good enough for me? Are they going to match me with the level of effort that I'm putting into myself and putting into life? So if they're not treating you well, if they're not respecting you, if they are treating you like you don't matter, you always have to remember you are a person of value, period. No matter what your ex says, no matter what happened, you know, six years ago in the past, you are a new person. And if you're not yet on that path, you can start today. You can completely reset your expectations, change your identity, and focus on the things that you can control and let go for one second. Do not call, do not text your ex, do not watch their stories. Act and believe like they will realize what they lost. Remember, like I said, they chose you at some point. So allow them to choose you again while you're focusing on yourself. And that way things will be a lot easier. Anyway, if you have any thoughts, comments that you wanna share, Go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below. If you want to talk to me about your situation, the quickest way to do so is to click the first link in the description and we can talk about it. I would be thrilled to help you out. Before you go, please do me a favor. Like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to adding more value to your life and talking to you in the next video or in the next live stream. Thanks again for watching. Peace.